Hi, I'm Alan Seamock. I'm here at the uh, Van Haven Museum. We're in the center building, the original uh, Van Haven building that was used uh, by Mr. Berger when he moved the collection out of his home. Here to talk about this great, great, great figure made by one Cleo Cooley. She was a performer uh, in the Chicago area and she sculpted her own, her own figures and apparently this is the only figure that she had ever sold to another performer. Um, I love this figure because for several reasons the, the sculpt shows so much character, it's so beautifully detailed, uh, it looks good from every single angle whether it's in profile, front on, and um, it also uses a method that I use myself when I make my figures. I worked for years for um, a puppeteer in the New York area named Paul Ashley and he basically helped me refine the method that I, that I still use. The way that works is he, sculpts, he sculpted his heads in clay and then cast them to make a mold and then using plastic wood he would form the head inside of the mold. Now plastic wood refers to um, a putty-like material. It's not really plastic. It has plastic elements but it was called plastic wood mainly because it was pliable. That's what the, the term plastic referred to. The fact that it, that it was like a putty. Okay? And the, uh, the method used after it comes out of the mold is to continue to carve features into the face and then sand it down and paint it just like you would any other figure whether it was made of fiberglass or wood or anything else. This particular one, um, I think from the very first time I visited Van Haven, this grabbed my eye because from across the room it just really, it, it shows so much character and this, this jaw piece is just so beautiful. Look at that, the way that opens especially in profile. I mean, it just really, um, it's really, really remarkable. It's a shame that uh, she didn't make more figures because um, this was, this is really, really a beautiful piece of art. Unfortunately, she died rather young. She was tw only 24 years old when she passed away. And uh, I think um, there was a lot of lost potential there when she passed away because I think she would have turned out, if, if her other things were anything like this, it would have been quite a contribution to the art of figure making. Um, I really admire this piece and uh, I wish I could have met Cleo Cooley. So when you come to the Van Haven Museum, be sure to look for the Cleo Cooley head. This is just a really, really beautiful, beautiful piece of art.